welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are brand new and you're just finding me, hi, welcome. My name's Olivia, and I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while, hit the red subscribe button down below and join my channel. Or if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. It's always so nice to see you. And by the way, guys, you can always find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there, and that's always listed in the description box down below as well. Um, but thank you so much for joining me on today's video, first of all. Um, but second of all, I have a little bit of a different video for you today. So I kind of went through my closet and was inspired by some older items that I had thrifted from years ago. So the other reason I was inspired was also I watch a girl on YouTube. Her channel is called Nerdy Girl and she does amazing thrifting videos and I love her channel. Um, if you check her out, let her know I sent you. But I definitely was inspired by some of the items that I had found actually from a few years ago and um, they didn't fit me the past few years, but if you didn't know, I'm also on Weight Watchers and I've been on uh, the WW program now for just over two, uh, yeah, just over two years. And um, I do have a lot of Weight Watcher content if you're interested there, I'll link a few down below. Um, but. Um, with kind of getting healthier and things like that, I have, um, I fit into a few of the, the items, so I will share with you some of those, um, but I also figured, you know what, I might go grab a few items from a thrift store nearby here, and they're being super safe, and I immediately washed everything uh, as soon as I got home just to disinfect and all that kind of stuff, but it's, uh, it's a great way to, of course, repurpose uh, recycled items and just kind of give new life to them, and that's where I was inspired because those items that I kind of found in my wardrobe that fit again, it's like I'm giving them a new life again. I'm kind of, you know, reusing them and it kind of got me excited. And then I was thinking, I will go ahead and put some summery outfits together through my thrifted items and I'll also incorporate some of the, the clothes that I already have because that's definitely one of my strategies when I go into the store. When you're looking at items, you might have a little vision of what you have in your closet at home that will work perfectly with that skirt or will look great with that um, top that you have things like that. So I think that's really important is just to kind of, you know, be open-minded when you go into the thrift store and just think about how you can repurpose and bring things to life. And I'm going to do that in this video. I'm going to share with you some really cute summary outfit ideas. Um, of course, um, I will try and share with you any of the prices if I still have them. Of course, everything is already washed and uh, I took the labels off. So not the labels, but the price tags and they don't always have labels. So where they do, I will tell you the brand um, and if they have sizing. But if you are interested in watching this midsize Kirby thrifting haul summary outfit ideas, then stay tuned. Okay, so outfit number one we have is actually the thrifted item is the skirt in this outfit. So I just paired it with a little off the shoulder blouse that I have, which I've had for quite some time now, but I thought it would be really nice with this little wrap skirt. And this one is one of the items that I've had for a few years now. So I found this in the closet and I thought it was super cute and adorable. Uh, now it is a wrap skirt, so it does kind of have a little wrap over here, uh, but there is a button missing at the top, which would clasp this side over. Over, so I'm just kind of holding it here hoping that it stays for this little segment and then I will replace the button and then it does have a little wrap um, secure detail here with that button so love this skirt it's definitely like a 90s find it does not have the label anymore uh, and it doesn't of course have the price tag but typically with skirts I'm not paying anything over if not ten dollars like 12 is kind of a cutoff for me um, but it's super, super cute, and I just love this. I think it's a really nice one to pair with something even super, super casual, like a little black t-shirt, white one would be nice, or you can dress it up with a little off-the-shoulder shirt like this. Super cute, first little thrifted outfit. Okay, here's another cute little thrifted outfit. So this one is from a few years ago. So the top itself is actually um, like just a, a, I've tucked it in. It's a really lightweight navy blue top, which is a v-neck in the front and it's also um, the v-neck in the back, which I thought was really nice and really pretty tucked into this little thrifted skirt. I love this one so much. This I knew, I just fell in love with it the moment I saw it. And it says the brand is called Two Roads, which I've never heard of that brand before. So it definitely looks like a 90s label. 
so it's probably I don't know maybe mid 90s and I could see myself even as a kid wearing something like this um, but it's a skirt so I don't know if you can see but there's actually little shorts which match the pattern exactly underneath so nice to have that underneath the skirt then you're not worried about it being a little bit you know flying up or anything like that because it is a mini skirt so it's a little bit shorter um, but I also love the detailing that it comes up nice and high waisted it's there's no stretch to the skirt it does zip up in the back here but I love that I you know can wear this again and I thought it'd be really nice to pair it with a navy top but you can also of course there's a ton of ways you could wear this with wearing white with it. Um, I've worn like a light blue top with this because I don't know if you can tell, but it's got all of these really beautiful like bright blue flowers and lilac flowers kind of as a little pattern. So I love this so much. So I just thought this was a really beautiful outfit. Just, you know, you could wear this even just to dress up a little bit, you know, going out for drinks or something like that if you can but anyways i thought this was another great little thrifted outfit and hope you guys like this one okay so this one i'm not 100 percent sure on the skirt um but i do love the sweater and i hope that the white isn't throwing off the color too much um but in person this is kind of like a muted orange i know it's coming off a little bit more vibrant on screen and this one it doesn't say the brand it's kind of rubbed out but i can see that it is a size 11 and i washed this and i dried it because it was a little bit big on me and my hopes was that i would kind of shrink it but it is still like pretty oversized even though there is like a little tie at the waist and it also has these really cute ties at the side that kind of cinch it in again I mean I'm thinking this has got to be like early 2000s kind of look maybe 2004 with this type of like cargo style skirt um, and I had high hopes for it but I'm just not kind of sure on the fit on me but it's not bad it's not bad and I really like the sweater so the sweater for me is going to be definitely a little staple because I'm always looking for in my wardrobe like a kind of oversized white knit sweater that's lightweight and I know I don't have it so I was happy to find this one this is actually from the gap and it's in a size extra large before I washed it it was nice and oversized but of course I'm the queen of laundry fails and I really did shrink it especially kind of um, lengthwise so I don't know if you can see but it was even longer it was like kind of like tunic length and you know we made it a little bit too small but what I did is I just tucked it into this skirt just to kind of see that's kind of how I would wear it I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not I might cut off the bottom a little bit more just because I probably will wear it tucked into things and I don't want it to bulk up kind of the bottoms of whatever I'm wearing so I just pulled it off the shoulder because it is um, a little bit baggy and oversized but I thought that was really super cute and I would totally wear this as well with any other type of um, skirt let me know what you guys think about this skirt I don't know I might have to re-gift this one because it might not quite be my style or what I was hoping for, but still a cute outfit either way. Okay, so this is a thrifted outfit number, what are we, three, I think? Um, so this is the skirt that I picked up recently, but this top you may recognize from my ancient Emma haul. And I actually thought that this would be a beautiful outfit. So as soon as I saw the skirt, I actually thought of this top because I loved the idea of tucking this in. So similar to my earlier, the, the blue floral skirt, this one is a skirt. And it really reminded me of it, just, you know, kind of the whole style of it, and it's adorable. It is the brand Reitman's, and it's in a size 13, and it was only $6. So, such a steal. But the only thing is, is it's really, it's really oversized. Now, I figured it might be a little bit, so I'm going to fix this. I'm going to find a way to pin it I guess maybe at the sides or at the back and just kind of you know make it a little bit more form-fitting but I absolutely love the whole vibe of this skirt it's definitely like a 70s kind of um, green like pattern it's a great length on me it is mini but for me it's kind of still coming like mid thigh which is fabulous because I don't always get that in a skirt and then again my whole goal for this is to have it nice and form-fitting at the waist because right now it just kind of falls down if 
if not. But I love this and it just zips up at the back, if you can tell, and even at the back, not short. It's a really great skirt and for $6, I will fix this and I will definitely make it work for sure. So love this. Let me know what you guys think of this type of outfit. It's a very neutral, love this, super cute and um, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so this skirt is the item that is thrifted here, and I actually had an idea of putting this with an off-the-shoulder top that I have. So this is just my own black off-the-shoulder top. You can get these so many different places, but what I liked about the skirt specifically was it's a little bit longer. So I'll, I'll pull you down in just a second so you can see the full length of it, but it's like a satin kind of look to it, and it's got all of these kind of like embroidered like leaf details or I don't think they're flowers like I don't know almost like palm leaves or something like that but to me it's got like a very like Spanish kind of vibe to it so it's a little bit a little bit sexy even though it is a little bit longer so my whole idea with this is just to pair it with like that kind of like bardo style top and then just kind of give it a really I don't know sexy you know vibe so I think that this is very very pretty and I love that this kind of worked out this skirt was $2.99 there is no label there is no size but it's definitely older because I can just tell like you know when you can tell by the way the skirt is made the kind of fabric it is it definitely has an older feel to it um, it's got a little bit of a waist a stretchy waistband here um, which is nice because it does kind of shrink in and hug the waist and then it does have a little button up detail at the back as well and, a, and a, um, a zipper as well so super cute but I'll just paint you down just quickly just so you can see the full length of this so here you go you can see the full length of it you could definitely even wear something like this for work pairing it with the appropriate blouse but I love this and for me definitely like sexy little date night vibes or something like that this is so gorgeous super cute and that's always a tip for me is if you're looking at stuff when you're in the thrift store, you know, look for things where you can think about what item that you have at home that will really bring this to life. Because um, everybody pairs their outfits differently and has a different vision. So I think this uh, came together really nicely. So just a little date night thrifted outfit option. Okay, so this next find. Uh, really really reminded me of a dress that I tried on back in the winter at Anthropology. so I had done a video with them and I tried on this beautiful navy kind of like satin material dress and it was exactly well I don't know maybe my memory isn't quite serving me but it was very similar to this little mini dress and I fell in love with this I saw it on the rack and I couldn't like you know you can't quite make out what the shape is going to be like but I just kind of like went out on a limb with it because it was only six dollars and fifty cents what a find no brand in it and no sizing so i can't let you guys know exactly where this came from but this is so beautiful i love this and i think this for me wears to more of a formal night pair it with some little nude heels and you are definitely good to go it's very kind of boho, so it's a little bit oversized kind of everywhere. It is a little bit mini, it's a little bit shorter um, on me, but not too short, so it's definitely still appropriate. It's extremely light and really kind of like a breathable material. And it also has this little cinched in waist, but it's kind of like a dropped waist. So it's not hitting for me at the um, top of my waist, a little bit lower, but I do, I do like that. And then it does have a little surplus kind of um, detail here, and this is sewn, so you can't undo it. But I think pairing this with the right jewelry, just making that navy pop, love it. And it's got almost like uh, those dolman kind of sleeves where they kind of um, fan out a little bit. But I think this is very beautiful and a real find from the thrift store so again this is just a more kind of like dressed up option and I just loved it let's move on to the next item okay so this next outfit I was really inspired by the skirt that I found for $6.99 so it was a total steal for the skirt I was super excited to find this for 
a total bargain. This top is actually one of my own, but again, that's kind of how I like to shop as I picture items that I might have at home because I don't always find full outfits. So um, this one, I hope the white isn't throwing off the color too much, but this is actually a longer kind of knee length skirt. This skirt really reminds me of, you know that mid-2000s, like 2002, 2003, where these kind of like knee-length skirts were all the rage. Um, definitely like a staple for Rachel on Friends, like that kind of a vibe. So I was really excited to find this just because I think it's a really beautiful skirt. So it's a black background and then you've got these like gray... I guess roses on them and then kind of like floral detailing and comes up nice and high. There isn't a lot of, um, I guess, support in the top. It's not um, super tight anymore. So it feels like the elasticity is kind of gone on this one, but either way, I will still make it work. I love the fit of this. I think it's really pretty. And I would definitely wear this for, for work. Um, I think it's a really appropriate skirt for, yeah, for the office. It would be great, especially because it's knee length. I love this, but I'm going to give you a little bit um, of a full length view just so you can see uh, where it hits me. Okay, so you can see here from this view, like it is coming down to my knees and it's got a double layer, so it's got a little slip underneath and then, yeah, super cute. There is no label in this one either, which actually makes it difficult to know which is the front and which is the back. So I absolutely could be wearing this backwards or back to front. Who knows? But I just really love this. I thought it was a great find, especially for the price and just a great, um, kind of more formal skirt to have in my wardrobe. Okay, I'm going to finish off with a very casual outfit. So we have the last outfit coming up next. Okay, so for this next outfit, it is all about the top. The sweatpants are actually my own. I just tucked it into them. Um, these are actually from Joe Fresh, if you are interested. They are a new find. They were just on sale there, so I picked them up because they're nice and high-waisted. Um, but the top is actually kind of the little star of the show here. This beautiful turquoise top is from Jones, New York, and it's in a size extra large, so it's a little bit baggy on me um, overall. I'll just kind of untuck it so you can see and it's just kind of a thicker like cotton material so there's not a lot of um structure to this type of top uh, unless you make it have structure so i do that by tucking it in and i think that's the best way to show off your waist or you know show off your shapes so you're not lost in kind of an oversized top um, but i really like this and it was a find because it was only four dollars and so I just, it was still in such good quality. It didn't seem like it had even been worn that much, honestly. So I really liked this one and I love that little neckline. It reminds me again of kind of like early to mid 2000s with that little v-neck detail, but I had seen a ton of these types of tops on um, like Misguided or Boohoo. I've definitely seen this little style. Um, a lot of them are kind of cropped, but I mean, I could crop this top myself, but I do really like it kind of just tucked in like this. I think it looks super pretty just like that. So, and I mean, I could wear this for sure with some jeans. And I think if I was to wear it with like a high waisted pair of jeans, I might need to crop, like cut it a little bit just so there isn't again, a lot of material to tuck into a pair of pants or a skirt or shorts, whatever you're tucking this one into. But I love it, I think it's super cute, and that's gonna round out my thrifted outfits. So that is gonna do it for this little thrifting haul. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And as always, I am so curious which was your favorite outfit, or which item was your favorite. Let me know in the comment section down below, I would love to know. I'm always so curious which ones you guys tend to love the most. Thank you so much for watching. I will again, I'll leave my Instagram down below. You can see me styling these outfits over there um, soon to come as well. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.